All right, good morning, YouTubers. It's uh, finally starting to act like some good weather out here in the Kansas City area, and uh, cooling down a bit. The shop thermometer says it's now 52 degrees in here, and uh, it is good. So this video is kind of uh, time to elaborate a little bit more on what Project X is. It's going to be a building a 2x72 belt sander. Uh, years ago I actually had uh, purchased this uh, one inch by I believe I think it's a 1x30 it doesn't doesn't say and I was just uh, I was grossly disappointed. I mean, it works. It does what it kind of, it does what it needed to. I you know, but I was grossly disappointed at it. How underpowered it is. How underbuilt it is. And so, like I said, that's years ago. I was so disappointed. I mean, I had bought some extra belts for it, and I never used them. I think it's seen more use here recently with uh, my wife Renee working on it, uh, doing some intricate things before long. But uh, <laughs> so it's time to upgrade, needless to say. And so in the preliminary stages, I've done a lot of uh, YouTubing myself, been looking at other people's projects and trying to figure out, I was like, okay, this is where they got some parts and stuff that I can't make myself, and went from there, so I've got a box of parts over there. I picked up a small selection so far of actual belts. Main, my main original reason of doing that is just to get a clarification on size and what I can do size-wise, what, what I can fit. And uh, I guess I'm just going to try and grossly lay out some parts here and uh, from there start laying out on the steel using two things that every decent fabricator should have is a Sharpie marker and some soapstone. And uh, I guess go from there once I kind of have a concept on the steel of what I want it to look like. I'll draw it up on the Design Edge software and cut it out on the plasma cam. So let me uh, try and get a little bit of things laid up here and then we'll bring you back in the loop. Alright, uh, as you can see I've got some uh, store-bought parts in here and most of the fabrication phase that I'm doing is going to be cutting out the plates and bolting it together and so on and so forth and there may be a touch of welding involved I guess it's still uh, to be determined on some of that but this is my rough idea that I can at least I use the belt and the pulleys to figure out what all I was trying to go for and size wise just what was feasible and and uh, now that I've got it to this point I can actually take it into some design software and work at it from there so just to kind of go over what's going on here is that I've got some inch and a half square stock that's going to be this base and you know bolt both these sides to and also that inch and a half square stock I'm going to be mounting these uh, pillow blocks to over here and so with the height of the block uh, the center here being one inch that's kind of what determined where my drive pulley is going to go and 
And then uh, I kind of know that I want at least a 10 inch platen for when I start grinding and stuff. And so that's kind of where I went from there is the, I have a triple beam design I, or where I can put my tool posts in either here, here, or here. And uh, most commonly, it's probably going to be tool post in the top one and then a, or, and then like a tool rest or whatever in either the middle or the lower one. But, so the idea was, hey, I've got the belt. Let's see where I can take it and still get 10 inches between the wheels. So that'll be my my platen and uh, the circles will be bolts that help stiffen up the two sides looking like uh, some quarter inch probably get some uh, grade fives and spacers in between I got some of this uh, DOM some DOM tubing it's 7 sixteenths by an 063 or 065 wall. So it's about the closest I could find with that manufacturer that I got my steel at. And there is, there is a, a, a bit of play on the bolt, but it's, uh, like I say, it's more of a spacer. And it's main purpose, will, yeah, it's just spacing. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> So <clears throat> from there, I'm going to take the side plate and have a vertical post out here and I'll probably put another piece of that inch and a half square stock in here to stiffen it up. So this whole bottom portion will have square stock, this top portion will have square stock and probably a spot in here that will have it with this spot not having any. It'll just have a bolt going through hole. And the reason why, and I haven't drawn it out, is I'll have some more of that square stock coming over this way, and it's going to be a lever for this. And so there'll be like a handle out here, and this is my idler pulley. And so when I want to change belts or something with this spring, uh, I guess kind of hard to show this is going to be further into the plate and so this spring will be sitting on this square stock and as a, as you you know and so that's that's my rough design I finally put something out of my head and not quite onto paper but at least onto the steel and then I can go and do a little bit of designing from there Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions or you're going to build your own or something and you need some sort of rough dimensions, I could probably help you out with that. Uh, again, this is for a 2-inch belt and a 72-inch, so 2x72. Thank you.